Turning a little bit to Africa and East Africa, Somalia is a victim of frequent terrorist attacks. Now, I spoke with Somalia's Prime Minister, Omar Abdirashid Sharmake, and sought his thoughts on Sunday's mass shooting in Orlando. It's very heartbreaking, really, what happened in Orlando. I think it's a really a very barbaric and horrific act. We extend our condolences to the U.S. government, to the people of the United States. We really, I think, want to extend our special kind of a, in, uh, condolences to, to the families and the loved ones who really lost their loved ones in, in, in that horrific act. And we hope and wish a very speedy recovery for the ones who were injured. This is exactly what we are confronted with every day. And this is exactly the kind of ideology and the extremism we're dealing with back in Somalia. You know, when this kind of acts happen in um, countries like here, or sometimes in the neighboring country of Somalia, that is Kenya, people tend to say, see this as extremist, uh, radical Muslims killing Christians or uh, people of other faith. They killing Muslims every day. They are killing and actually trying to assassinate people in the mosques. These are, have no place in Islam. And really, the people doing this, they are not and not a part of really what they are claiming to be. This are really radical insurgency, is a radical ideology that needs to be really confronted and defeated. And you know, lately we've been hearing of uh, you know attacks, especially on the Amisom troops, and uh, a number have been killed. In as much as you've pushed Al Shabaab away from Mogadishu, for example, how safe is Somalia? compared to, say, three years ago? I think it's much better than what it was two years ago. And we hope that I think we continue to really get better. Nonetheless, and you have to understand that we are confronted with a really very extreme ideology in human beings that are willing to die. And usually capital punishment is the highest punishment that human beings could be actually penalized with. If anyone wants to die and wants to kill, definitely they often tend to really cause huge damage. And nonetheless, we continue to really intercept some of the information. This is an intelligence war. I think you need to really have a good intelligence to prevent such things. You need to intercept the communications and really go directly and take the offense to their own turf. Well, that was my conversation with Somali Prime Minister Omar Abdirashid Sharmake.